John Roberts lived at 11 Park Terrace, Winlayton. Around 5.30pm on Saturday, December the 15th, the day before he was murdered, John was seen by a witness down an alley not far from his home. This reconstruction was filmed on a summer's day, but that evening was a typical dark, cold and wet December night with snow on the ground. The witness saw John down the alley near the junction of Whitewell Road. The alley is just yards away from his home. We believe that on the Saturday, John was wearing the same clothes that he was found dead in. These were dark blue jeans, a blue zipped fleece and a grey green coloured coat. A witness saw John walking down the alley speaking with a man. The man is described as being white, 19 to 20 years old and around 5 foot 10 inches tall. He had short fair hair and was clean shaven. He was wearing a waist length dark brown or green bomber style jacket and blue jeans. The witness told us the man looked as if he was getting agitated while speaking with John and that he may have been arguing with him. Do you know who this man is? We really need to identify this man and speak to him as he may have been one of the last people to speak to John before his death. After seeing John walking down the alley, we think the two men continued down the hill to John's house. They might have gone into John's house, we don't know for sure. What we do know is that around 6.30pm, John visited the Candola Brothers shop in Hazel Road. The shop is five minute walk down the Shipton Bank from John's house and there are a number of routes he could have taken. Did you see John that Saturday evening making his way from his home to the Candola store? Did you see where the man he was speaking to went? Earlier that day, Newcastle had played Manchester City at St James's Park. Perhaps you were coming back from the game and you saw John or spoke to him that evening. If so, we want to hear from you. John left the Candola store around 6.35pm and this is the last confirmed sighting that we have of him before his death. We know that he went back to his house in Park Terrace sometime between then and when he was found dead on Sunday. We don't know if he left the store and went straight home or if he went somewhere else. We need to trace his movements after he left the shop at 6.35pm that evening. It's been six months since John Roberts was murdered and we are continuing to do all we can to catch those responsible. Teams of detectives have carried out more than 1,200 house-to-house -house inquiries and spoke to thousands of people in connection with the investigation. John was a father, a brother and a much-loved and missed son. His family have been left devastated by what happened and they need closure to help move on with their lives. John's father, David Roberts, speaks on behalf of the family. In December 2012, our son was killed inside his home and those who did it need to be caught. It's been months of waiting, uncertainty and heartache for us. People need to think back to last December to see if they remember anything, any little thing, that might help the police catch his murderers. John was a father, son, brother and friend. He touched many lives, although latterly he had retreated into himself and changed his appearance. He was still young and had so much life left to live. He'll never be able to fulfil his potential. His murderers took that from him. The people who did this are still out there. All we ask now is that the killers are brought to justice. Someone, somewhere, has an idea at the back of their mind that a friend or relative began behaving differently just before Christmas. Maybe they went quiet or too loud or began drinking more. Maybe they know someone who suddenly moved away from the area at that time without explanation. We'd ask anyone who can help share information with the police to help solve this case. It'll also help us as a family to move on and lay John's memory to rest.